Hey, today on Thinking Big, we're going to see if we can blow up a 20-foot long balloon using only our lungs. Stick around to find out how. Hey, today we are talking about the big idea. idea of generosity. In fact, why don't you guys just repeat this after me. Everybody say generosity. generosity. Making someone's day by giving something away. You know, I think most of us would say that we want to be generous people, but you know, we talk about big ideas a lot here, of course, of the Big Idea Experience, and we say a big idea is something that you put to work inside of you to change the world around you. That's a pretty big statement, and it's kind of hard to imagine, but is it really possible to, just by being generous, change the world around you? I mean, how generous would you have to be? How much would you have to give away if you really wanted to change the world. Well, today we're going to be doing a fun experiment that you could actually try at home if you wanted to. It's pretty easy to pull off and it's a lot of fun to play with what you create afterwards. But we're going to be looking at an experiment that I think will help us understand how when we are generous and we make one person's day, it can go on to change the world. So for us to really see this in action though, I'm going to need some help from our studio audience. All right, so here we are. I've got my uh, lucky contestant here. What's your name? Lizzie. Okay, and Lizzie, what grade are you in? First. First grade. Okay, here's a question, Lizzie. Can I get a little bit of help up here? Uh, the question is, Liz, do you think if we were to take this giant 20-foot-long balloon, it's not actually a balloon. It actually is a refill bag. Do you have any younger brothers or sisters? Brothers. Brothers. Okay, so if you've got any younger brothers or sisters, you might know this, but this is used to refill one of those like diaper pails. So it has been used. Uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Mr. Cody down there. Go ahead and tie that in shut. Here's the question: Do you think you can fill this balloon using only your lungs? Yes. You think so? Okay, let's find out. We've got that in tied. Go ahead and hold this up to your mouth, and we're going to see if you can fill this with air. Okay, the whole 20 feet. Let's see. Keep, keep trying. Okay, um, that might take us a while, wouldn't it? Okay, so here's the thing. If you were going to try this at home, you'd think this would take us all day long to slowly puff air into it. But what if I told you, Lizzie, you could actually fill this just with one breath. By using one breath, you'd be able to fill this entire thing of plastic all the way up. Do you believe me? Okay, we're going to stretch this tight. Go ahead and stretch it tight down there. I want you to go ahead and you hold it. And make sure you keep it nice and open. And then get your mouth about right here, just a little bit away. And then blow one constant stream of air in. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, that is pretty good. At about halfway, you did a pretty good job. Just with one breath. Let's give her a round of applause, everybody. Okay, so we were able to fill quite a bit of it, and you might be wondering, how are we able to do that with just one breath? It's actually really interesting. So we've got, a, we've got a, a new bag here, and here's what we're doing. We're using a principle that a guy named Daniel Bernoulli came up with. It's called the Bernoulli Principle, and you might have read about this before. It's, if you've ever seen a plane fly, you've ever rid, ridden on a plane, this principle is what allows that to happen. <laughs> Bernoulli's principle is that when you have a fast-moving stream of air, the pressure around it is less than the pressure that it's surrounded by. So basically, when you have fast-moving air, it creates a low pressure surrounding it. So, for instance, when air moves over a plane wing super quickly, it creates low pressure on top, and the high pressure beneath the plane lifts it in the air. That's exactly what you're seeing happen. By, by having my contestant back up just a little bit, what I did was I created... Low pressures create around the opening, and that causes the air around the opening to get pushed inside. So watch this. You can kind of see it start to come back, and you can actually fill this whole thing with just one breath of air. That's pretty impressive. Now, 
What does that have to do with being generous? Well, first of all, when you get this thing full of air, it's actually pretty fun to go out and play with. You can throw it, so as far as generosity, it's like the coolest, cheapest toy you can find. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about making someone's day by giving something away. You know, one of the most generous people I can think of is a woman named Mother Teresa. This is a person that literally spent her entire life giving to others. And she said this, she said, if you can't feed 100 people, just feed one. Well, what does that mean? It means when we're talking about being generous, you don't have to feed the entire world. You don't have to serve the entire world. Those are great dreams, those are great ideas. But a lot of times, if we really wanna change the world, it starts with just one act of generosity. Maybe you don't have any extra money to give. That's okay, what if you gave your time instead? Maybe you don't feel like you have a ton of extra time. What if you gave your attention to someone just for a moment so that they could feel valued? What if instead of uh, spending money on someone, you just decided to spend some time giving them an honest, genuine compliment? You can be generous in a lot of different ways, and it might not seem like much, but one thing that I've seen over time is when kids practice generosity, it inspires others to be generous as well. And eventually, we find the world around you changing all with just one act of generosity. And that is pretty awesome. That's thinking big. So here's our question for the day. The one question we want you to talk about with your class, with your family, with whoever you're around to talk about how you could put the big idea into practice. It's this, what one thing can I give away today? That's the question, talk about it and see what you come up with. I'm positive that when you put the big idea of generosity to work inside of you, you'll change the world around you.